you know, so if, if you see there is something called averages are better than extremes, you know, this is a property which is given in variance. Uh, how is that connected to quasi concavity? Okay, so let me first formally define that averages are better than extremes property. Okay, and then I'll show that it is actually equivalent to, you know, what we have just, uh, you know, the quasi concavity. Okay, so, so this is averages are better than extremes. Okay, so uh, we say that, you know, uh, a function satisfy averages are better than extremes property. Okay, uh, if you pick any two points in the domain, the value of the function at the convex combination of those two points must be greater than or equal to you know uh, the min of the value of the function at you know the end points okay so so let me just relate it to you know what you have studied in 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 variant so um, let's just so remember you know this is i think the diagram in the variant okay uh, so something similar. Okay, so if you take this to be X, so when I say X, you know uh, Here I mean X Y. Okay, because it's just uh, the function of two dimension, you know, or uh, defined on R2 plus. Okay, so uh, it's X Y Okay, and this is Let's say another point X prime Y prime Okay, so what does this property say is that you know? If I if I take two points on the indifference curve, okay, then the line segment connecting them, okay, uh, will lie in the upper level set. Okay, that's exactly what this says. Okay, uh, so because the value of the function at each of these convex combinations is actually greater than or equal to the minimum of these two values, which is the same value because they are on the same indifference curve. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so this is, you know, writing that that particular property formally. Okay, uh, that averages are better than extremes. Is that is that clear? Okay. So it turns out that this is actually equivalent. You know, you can see the picture and you can see that it's immediate. Uh, that it is going to be equivalent to quasi uh, concavity. But let's just just prove it. Okay. Uh, so just. Uh, you know straightforward okay so now suppose i want to show that f is quasi concave then f satisfy averages are better than extremes okay uh, then what i'm going you know, so basically i want to show that f satisfy averages are better than extremes okay i'm assuming that f is quasi concave okay so if i want to show that f satisfy averages are better than extremes what should be my first step what do you think i should do if i want to show that f satisfies this property I will choose two points in the domain of f okay i choose two points x and x prime in the domain of f and then show that this particular inequality holds okay that is what what uh, for 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 any lambda okay uh, so basically i'm going to choose two points in the domain of f and then choose an arbitrary lambda okay and then i'm going to show that this particular property holds okay uh, so that's basically you know uh, the 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 line of reasoning that we are going to apply to show that uh, f is going to satisfy averages are better than extremes. Okay, so again, I'm going to assume that f is quasi concave. So that means this is an upper this upper level set is a con convex uh, uh, yeah is a convex set for every every level a. Okay, uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick arbitrary x x prime and arbitrary lambda between zero and one. Okay, uh, now we know that fx is greater than or equal to min of fx for my fx prime right i mean this is obvious right i mean this is this term is one of these two terms and uh, and uh, you know each of these two terms will be greater than or equal to smaller of them okay so so fx is greater than or equal to the smaller of these two terms and similarly fx prime is also greater than or equal to smaller of these two terms okay uh, so now if this is true then I know that if I consider P min fx fx prime. So if I take the level, you know, level that I'm going to consider will be min of fx fx prime. Okay. Then do you agree that x belongs to P min fx fx prime? You know, because fx is greater than or equal to min fx fx prime. So just just okay. Uh, 
okay do one thing you know consider a level which is min fx fx prime so you have taken these arbitrary x and x prime consider the level which is min of fx fx prime do you agree that value of the function at x is greater than or equal to min fx fx prime yes we can see that here right now since the value of the function at x is greater than or equal to min fx fx prime do you agree that this particular point x is in the upper level set because the value of the function is greater than upper level set corresponding to this level yes similarly you know x prime is also in the upper level set yes okay now since both x and x prime are in the upper level set corresponding to this particular level so do you agree that because f is quasi concave and this is a convex set do you agree their convex combination will also be in the upper level set x and x prime convex combination of x and x prime yes or no yes okay so you know that, that that's exactly what we wanted to show okay i mean it's just just uh, uh that the convex combination of x and x prime is in the upper level set okay now when i say that this is an upper level set you can just use the definition of upper level set okay uh because this is just straightforward now you know because if this point is in the upper level set the value of the function at this point must be greater than or equal to this right yes okay uh, so similarly you know i mean you can you can show the converse uh, uh, so, uh, so suppose f satisfy averages are better than extreme property then you can show that f is quasi concave okay uh, so again you know you're going to start by assuming that f satisfies averages are better than extreme property okay uh, and if you want to show that f is quasi concave uh, again you want to pick uh, you know so because if you remember the definition of quasi concave is that PA is a convex set for every A. Okay, the upper level set is a convex set for every A. So what you're going to do is you're going to consider an arbitrary A. Okay, and then show that PA is a convex set. Okay, I mean because once you're going to take an arbitrary and show that you know uh, PA is a convex set, so this holds for all A. You know, uh, I mean you didn't choose any specific A. You know, you said that this is true for an arbitrary A, so it will be uh, true for any A. Okay, so if you want to now show that PA is a convex set, so you're going to pick arbitrary X and X prime in PA, right? So pick an arbitrary x and x prime in PA where a is also an arbitrary number. Okay, uh, then uh, you know because because uh, x and x prime is in the upper level set, you know corresponding to level a. So the value of the function at x and x prime must be greater than or equal to a. Right? I mean this is straightforward. Okay, and then uh, you know because both these values are greater than or equal to a, so the smaller of these two values must also be greater than or equal to a. Do you agree? Yes, if both the numbers are bigger than a, then smaller of them will also be bigger than a. Do you agree? Yes or no? Okay, so I mean that's it. You know, it's just just straightforward. Okay, now once you know that this is true, uh, then you know, uh, then you can just use the fact that f satisfy averages are better than extremes. Okay, so since f satisfy averages are better than extremes, f must be greater than or equal to this. Okay, and uh, because this is greater than or equal to a so you know if you just combine these two you will get uh, you know the value of the function of the convex combination must be greater than or equal to a which proves that this particular point must be in the pa set okay which is the upper level set because the value of the function at this particular point is greater than or equal to a is that fine okay i mean that's exactly what we wanted to show right okay okay so now we know two ways to figure out whether a particular function is quasi concave or not one is you can just uh, check for quasi concavity which is upper level set is a convex set or not other is you can use this property you know uh, that averages are better than extremes property okay uh, so both are equivalent ways of you know uh, checking for quasi concavity 